Now, uh, this morning I'd like to touch on a little something that's old. When it comes to the Word of God, we seems to think that it's everything new. But it's always old, we just ignore it. We talk about the fate of God. And it's, I was reading this little study book that we got for men's ministry. And this stood up, stuck in my heart. And I thought I'll share. A kingdom man lived his faith secretly. Secretly. Hide. Right? No? You shouldn't. But I'm a child to do that. Let me read you a little story. Kirk Warner, he was a football player. Kirk Warner came out of nowhere to show up the NFL in 1999 under draft, out of college. Warner played in the Arena Football League from 1995 to 1997. The St. Louis Ram signed him up as their star quarterback. In 1998, when the Rams starting quarterback got injured, got injured in 1999, sorry, Warner became starter. In his first game, Warner threw 14 touchdown passes, wow. two more than the Rams had completed in their entire 1998 season. When reporters asked Warner about his secret, the secret of his success, Warner answered, it's my faith in Jesus Christ, publicly, across the campus, worldwide. Amen. He then led the Rams to the Super Bowl 30, 33. Warner became MVP, Warner making him just the third, uh, seventh player in football history to take home the league's and Super Bowl MVP award the same year. Now when you live your faith and you express your faith, you'll be amazed to know what God will do to you. This was a football player. And of course, you know, they brag, they do all, they do everything, they make all kind of money. But he stepped out, he didn't say it's my good training, he didn't say it's what I could do. He says, my God, it's when I live my life and I express my love for Jesus Christ. How much of us sit down on our blessings and be ashamed to talk to our friends with God? How about you showing your faith in Jesus Christ and to a friend of yours, to a colleague, to someone we talk to? You know, I stand ashamed even with myself. Because a lot of times I come to church and I think about my friends who home who I can invite or encourage to come to church. And I don't stay on them as I should. But as I come to church and I'm excited and I love God. And I know what God do for me. But we still sit down on our faith and our testimony. We live our life and yeah, people see your prosperity. People see when you are down and see you come out of your trouble. But do, do you testify and tell people how God has helped you? Second Corinthians 5 and 20 says, A kingdom man, man, kingdom man, I don't want to just think it all but man. Kingdom men and ambassadors for Christ. How we show our faith, we live as Christians, brothers and sisters in the faith of God. What is an ambassador? We are on the watch of Europe, we are, this one is an ambassador in the US for the Bahamas. What, is, what are they doing? I didn't hear that? Do we represent Jesus Christ like we should? We need to think about that. If we really want to see God move in our life, we need to represent. We need to do whatever we can to represent God. Yeah, we come to church and say we love our brothers and sisters, but do we show it? Or do we listen to little imps in our ears that tell us to gossip and we go to church to talk and to bark by? Or do we be helpful to each other? It's more than one way to show our faith. It's more, it's more than one way to be our brother's keeper. You say, boy, I'm busy, I never have time. We be on our phone all day. Just a phone call, just a text. We always have time. 
to show love, to show appreciation. And guess what? We don't only have to do it for those that show us love, you know. In our studies a few weeks ago, we talked about seeing that person in church that you are seeing, you only see on Sunday. Go up to them and get their number. So you can call them once a week. I think only the click set of us does that. Because I had the praise team, I talked to the praise team group and the man's ministry, so I talked to the man's ministry group. I saw I made the march for a But we really, it's really serious. We really need to show more love as we walk this walk of Christianity, as we walk this walk of faith. And I see so many people, I mean, I'd be excited to see y'all out in public. I love to meet my brothers and sisters yes, out in public. Uh -huh. You know, I, I'll share a little story with you before I go. I went, and went to the cleaners yesterday to pick up my clothes. And as I walk in the door, I walk up to the corner. And just when I reach the lady, she just, she was turning somewhere else, she turned around, and she just took the ticket out of my hand. So the gentleman who was standing on there said, no, 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 here, he just come, he just come. So I, he started around with me and he actually, he really got upset. So I look at it, by the time he finished talking, the, the lady had passed the ticket on and the other lady was coming with the clothes. By the time he finished, I already had my clothes in my hand. So I look at him and I say, sir, I apologize, you don't feel special. But she just took the ticket on my hand, I didn't give it to her. And he was totally upset. So I know, whatever you show, I could have said that another way, but... <laughs> Feeling, you know, that it just made me feel special to know that I walk in and she took, she just turned on and take my ticket. I didn't ask, she didn't ask who was next. But he was totally upset, but that's just favor. You call it what you want. Amen. That's the way God works in yes, our life. Yes. Amen. Amen. So I love you all. And I pray that going out through this week, we call each other. Talk to somebody. Even if it's your family member that you haven't spoken to for a very long time. A once in a blue moon. Let them know you love them. Let them know you love them. Don't wait till the time that we die and then we be mourning. That same passion that you have when somebody dies is a passion you should have when they're living. Amen? Amen. 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 Lord bless you.